I'm not here to ruffle any feather respectable apparel. Let's be honest. I've kept living in like denial. Why is it my duty to make sure that somebody is not lost in after me? When the church does not mean everybody is healed because coming with your breasts to what's in their case. I lie, it was paying for cousins' clothes and not cheap. Girl, this is too much. It's our fruits that lets people know that we are followers of Christ. You do not want the way you dress. Hinder the message that you have from being heard with certain ways of dressing that we attach to certain characteristics it's not tasteful it's like is it that you run out of material a side view a back view that picture would do better than your selfie my butt has to be in their faces you don't want to see it's a bonding dragging the dress is that not a bonding <laughs> do like this something can fall <laughs> Like your stubbornness will wear that dress. We've been deceived. Stands between your butt and the camera like this. Showing us the dress, but we can't even see the full dress. We can only see your bum bum. Here is the difference between you and the world. The way I'm dressing, good, acceptable, and perfect. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. I feel like I don't introduce this channel with excitement so I'm trying to do that from now on because we are happy over here we are filled with the joy of the Holy Spirit so welcome back to another video and today we have a sit down video we are going to be getting ready with me I don't really have anywhere to go but I didn't just want to be talking I wanted to be doing something and talking so I decided why not do a little get ready with me whilst we discuss our topic for today it's a very touchy subject I know but i'm not here to ruffle any feathers i'm here to share my personal experience and hopefully it helps someone and i'm also here to give you the gospel like i'm going to give you what the bible says so that you don't just think i'm i'm talking or making up things just a disclaimer like this is not this video is not for the purpose of condemning people or being overly religious or whatever the case might be just feel like it's a topic that we like to you know dance around and i just want to be one of the many voices that have spoken about this and bring to light what the bible says about it and as we know the bible is the only truth so i'm just going to give you the truth i really hope and i pray that whoever it is this video is meant for whoever it is that the holy spirit has been nudging on this subject i hope that this would be the video that you needed or the sign that you needed to go ahead and start this journey or start this phase of your life of your christian walk because we all have different parts of our lives that the holy spirit keeps fixing day by day and this is just one aspect like this does not make or break your walk with god or your christian life or whatever so yeah let's get into this video so if you don't understand what's happening over here today we are going to be talking about modesty particularly modest dressing because when we talk about modesty we can be talking about a lot of things like when i googled the word modesty what does it mean it means moderate humble not doing too much so modesty can mean a lot of things but for our context today we are going to be talking about modesty in terms of dressing and specifically for women because i am a woman and that is really what i know much about i don't want to speak on what i do not know of course modesty applies to both gender However, I'm speaking based on my personal testimony, so it's going to be from the perspective of a woman and about women. Also, it's going to be from a Christian perspective, so I'm going to be saying what the Bible says about it. If you're not a Christian, but you still want to hear about it, you can see it, you can hear, enjoy the ride, maybe the Holy Spirit will do his thing. That one's left to him. But you can see it, you can listen and you can share your opinions in the comment section but yeah if you are not a christian and you feel like you don't want to hear this then maybe on the next video i have something for you <laughs> i was watching a discussion amongst christian women and one of the women was one of her arguments was where does the bible even talk about dressing modestly so i'll be giving you guys where the bible one of the places because we we do not hear this only once in the bible but one of the places that the bible talks about modesty modest dressing particularly um we're going to be looking at first timothy chapter 2 verse 9 get your bible guys i'm reading from the esv version 
which says likewise also that women should adorn themselves in respectable apparel with modesty and self-control not with braided hair gold or pearls or costly attire and i know i'm putting on braided hair gold or pearls so you can be like oh why are you talking about first but not second part but if you read the bible and you read the bible in context and you read other parts of the bible as we know the bible is very complementary you would understand why these other things we are talking about them but we're talking about the modest dresser so we can have that discussion some other day but for today we're focusing on the first part of this verse which in my opinion defines what they mean by modest dressing they said um respectable apparel so let's be honest there are some things that are not respectable even in the society we live in like this is religious really context out of it just as a society there are certain things that you wear and you will not be respected there are certain things that you cannot wear to an embassy there are certain things you cannot wear to see a president there are certain things you cannot wear to see a king just because they are not deemed respectable if we want to define it in a very vague and general term we can use that so Think about anything that you the society would not deem respectable in terms of like in terms of what you wear and then think modesty. So I think that's the first step. However, there's more to it. There's more to it than that. And we're going to talk about that today. Let's talk about my own personal experience in terms of modesty. Anybody that knows me knows that I am a fashion girl. I love me a nice clothes with a nice fit um i love fashion is my thing i feel like for me the the holy spirit really needed to be the one to convict me about this topic because it's have been very difficult for human beings or i would have kept living in like denial and like giving excuses like ah how far is too far which is the question we ask a lot a very risky question so i would not say i was like dressing scandalous just because i come from a very conservative home so i was never i did, i was not brought up to be able to dress anyhow i wanted and also because of the type of body i have um i really cannot get away with a lot of things however i would not say i was dressing modestly for the most part i will give you like a before like this was me just to show you that this is not a judgment zone this was me before so who am i to sit here and judge anybody um initially what used to really offend me or annoy me or whatever word you want to use with the christian community especially when we we're growing up is when they want to talk about modest dressing especially to us the the ladies or the girl child it was usually like you should dress this certain way so that this boy would not be tempted and it always used to annoy me because i'm like if we're reading the bible correctly i'm sure the bible also condemns lust and i'm sure the bible also tells the tells both men and women how not to look at the other gender so why is it my duty to make sure that somebody is not lost in after me knowing fully well that some of these men if you like put on um a jalabia or whatever the case might be they will still lost after you so it used to really annoy me that when they are speaking to us about dressing modestly it's like do it for the man that used to get on my nerves and i'm sure i, I have people like this with the same with the same like sentiment so anytime any christian like elderly woman wants to speak about modesty i'm just like mm, 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 mm. i don't want to hear it keep that to yourself <laughs> really i was that so you can imagine the work the holy spirit had to do with me because my heart was so hardened to that subject just because of how it had been presented to us all of our lives i've always been a christian i've always been from a christian home i've always kind of had a relationship with god but it was like i was classify myself as a lukewarm christian at the time so I would say when I stay like wanting to take like my work with God really, really seriously would be around, I know people always know these things, but I don't really know that dates, dates, but I think it will probably be around 2021. Yeah, I think so. I started going to like the church I'm going to now, which is the Pentecostal church. I just go to the Catholic church and the Catholic church over here is so different from the Catholic church back home. It's very caucasian like very calm very and that's not what i'm used to so and there was not a lot of community because the people from 
different places but this church i'm going to now has, has a lot of community a lot of us are sub-saharan africans that are there a lot of us are english speaking um so it felt more like a community and also i could relate more to the teachings because the teachings um are kind of tailored to the majority of the audience and majority of us are like students or young people so i connected more with this church and i started going to this church and i started integrating myself in like the choir as i joined the choir i still getting more active in the church and from there you know sitting under the teaching of the pastor and um i started wanting to build my relationship with god and take my work with god seriously and like you know know him for myself outside of what i grew, what i grew up to know about him like i said this whole thing is a journey and i feel like when you come into god he picks you apart and he starts to work on different parts of you because salvation yes it is free but i feel like salvation is in steps like you you start with giving your life to christ and believing that he's your lord and personal savior yes but then there is a transformation of the mind the transformation of the mind comes with you reading the word and then allowing the holy spirit to do the work so i think so that was the phase i was in and he started working on a lot of things and for me god started working on things from the inside so it wasn't even the outside like pride like selfishness like different things so it was even things that people could not see that's what god was speaking to me about and gradually i started getting like the nudge in my spirit that i needed to you know change the way i present myself in terms of dressing in in as much as a change was going on inside of me it was hard it was not reflecting like it was hard to see and that's not to say the only reflection of the work the holy spirit is doing in you is through your dressing but the way you dress is one of them one of them not all of it or one of them so there was that part and also i started singing in church and i think at that point i think at that point i started leading the choir i'm not sure i think so so he has still like nudging my heart and i said okay you know tweaking the way i dress to church like it wasn't like i just woke up one day i said wearing like a long dress or whatever no but let's say if i wear ripped jeans normally then now maybe i wear like a legging inside of the ripped jeans to cover like where my skin is showing and things like that but there was this sunday they, i was wearing this dress i put a picture here in my opinion the dress was decent but it had like as you can see like a cut here and the thing with me is i i don't necessarily have like a big bust or whatever but like my i have like an okay size like so if i if i wear a dress that is kind of low cut you would kind of see my cleavage because of how my body is so but in that dress i had i think in needs i wore even like a camisole but it's it still wasn't doing enough and also it's kind of like a straight not necessarily body com body com but it shows the figure of your body so i i was wearing that and i was on the altar i, I don't think i was leading that day but i think but whenever we sing like we go to the altar so after the service i wouldn't say who but someone from the church um called me and two other girls from the choir and was speaking to us privately about oh um basically she started off us like oh um can we wear this in front of a president da, da, da. but in my head i was like oh yeah because honestly i didn't see anything wrong with it i was like yeah and she was like and i've won worse do you get so think of it from that aspect. so i think she wasn't just speaking from what she was saying that day maybe she was just like oh today's day i should just address how like these girls so she was basically saying oh especially because we are standing on the altar leading people to worship we should be mindful of the way we dress because we do not want people to get carried away if we were saying we want to lead people to worship god we don't want them to now get carried away we're looking at the boras breast or her hips or you get um and it made sense to me and for the first time i think that's the that was the first time that someone from the christian community was speaking to me about dressing and i didn't feel offended by it because i feel like the way she she presented it was very graceful and it wasn't it didn't feel like a condemnation and it didn't feel like she was making other people fall in as a fault of mine 
she was basically saying and what i later came to understand with time and growing the faith she was saying uh, this is the verse um in first corinthians chapter 10 verse 23 24 which i feel like if you are going to be successful in this your walk with christ is a very important verse to know because it reads you of a lot of selfishness like what i've come to realize working with god is you can't be selfish in this work with god you have to consider the people that you call your brothers and sisters in the body so this verse says i have the right to do anything you say but not everything is beneficial i have the right to do anything but not everything is constructive no one should seek their own good but the good of others at times when we are told oh don't do a certain way because especially like when we're talking if we are coming to the church or whatnot because you do not want other people to not be able to concentrate it's like it's not my responsibility but Iloki is your responsibility like why do you feel like the way like the way you want to dress is more imp is so important that even if it's to the detriment of another person not getting the word that was that god had for them that day then you are fine or even if it's to the detriment of somebody you not know, connecting the way they should have connected you are fine like she was saying like you don't know so people, like like they always say the church is like the hospital because we're in the church does not mean everybody is healed. Because you're in the hospital does not mean that you are well. You are here for treatment. So that's the case for many people in the church. Many people are here struggling with loss, masturbation, with different things. And you are coming with your breasts to what's in their case. So <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry for saying it like that, but that's just how I thought of you. Or that's how they was replacing my head that day. It's like some people are struggling with these things and you are coming to worsen it. They are struggling with going to this porn site and you have brought it to their face. Do you get? There's only, there's only so much control someone that is dealing with lust can have. Especially when they are still in the phase of being healed and transformed by the Holy Spirit. So, as a Christian sister or brother, why why do you feel like you're looking sexy or you're looking go, good or whatever should be like should be more important than somebody's you know healing process or listening to word or however you want to put it i don't know if that makes sense but to me when she said it it made sense to me and she did not know but like i think god was just using her to confirm what it is that he had been like trying to say to me but like my heart was just really hardened too so after she said that i went back and i really thought on it and i was like you know what it makes a lot of sense but at the same time am i going to throw all my clothes away oh guys it was painful i can't lie it was painful because these clothes are not cheap but i started you know checking some of the clothes that okay this one the ass is it's just it's showing everything like i can't do like this and you will not see the the side boob i can't do like this and you will not see it. you know all of these things and i can't even lie to you it's been that happened like i think around 2022 and it's been two almost two years and i'm still finding out the Holy Spirit is still every day correcting me and teaching me how to do this better so it is not easy to go from dressing a certain way to dressing a certain way but just know that the, that God sees your efforts and he is the one doing the work in you not you do you get it let me give you guys an example for example there's this dress here you see there's also this dress I think it's currently my profile picture actually and the first one was in the picture was taken in 2022 and when I was wearing this dress, the Holy Spirit was telling me like, girl, this is too much showing. But I had a plan. I had a look I was going for. And you can see the clothes go so well with the background. Like it was giving. And I was like, you know what? This voice in my head, I'm going to silence you. And I'm going to wear what I want to wear regardless. And I tell you no lie. I couldn't even post all of the pictures that I took with this dress because my spirit could not allow me and they were so bomb like till today I still look at some of those pictures and I'm like these are one of the finest pictures I've ever taken because the makeup was right the lighting the the location everything was right but because of my disobedience and I didn't put a little cover I couldn't I couldn't profit from that picture even the one that I still up my Instagram like I would not post something like that today but why i haven't taken it down apart from the fact that i like the picture 
but that's not why I haven't taken it down. I feel like it's important for people, for example, if someone sees me and sees me talking about my faith today, to know that it started from somewhere. And I did not just wake up and transformed. No, it was a journey, it was a walk. So that's why I leave some of those things. With time, if the Holy Spirit moves me to remove them, I would remove them because I have removed some. I just feel like there are certain parts of my body that just should not be online anymore. But I leave some of those that I feel like are not that bad or that the Holy Spirit is not moving me to remove just for the reason I just explained. The white dress too. The, I'm sure someone would be like, oh, that's okay. But when I wore it, like actually when I wore it, I didn't feel anything. But when I was looking at the pictures, like when I sit down, you see like the, because of how the dress is made, like a lot of cleavage is exposed. So the Holy Spirit just put, told me like, you can't wear this again, like this. So the next time I wore it very recently, like two or three weeks ago, I had to wear like a camisole to cover my cleavage. So it's things like this, like the small steps. You don't have to burn all of the clothes. Some of them have to be thrown away or given away or whatever because you, they can't really be rectified. But some of them, it's like the little, little adjustments, little, little adjustments. And the host will continue working with you until you get to the point where, where he wants you to get to. For everybody is different and for everybody the Holy Spirit will prune you according to how he wants you to be for the purpose he wants to use you for which brings me to my next point my next point is so I know we are like oh God looks at the heart da, 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 why does how I dress matters good points very great point thank you for saying that <laughs> However, he is working in us from the inside. But it is our fruits that lets people know that we are followers of Christ. Um, if you are not bearing the fruits that are replica of the fruits of the Spirit, how am I supposed to know that you are a follower of Christ? Especially if you are in the eyes of the public and you are professing your faith publicly, you do not want to confuse people. I am very, I am more conscious of how I dress or the things I say or the things I do online because I know that I am now a representation of Christ on a bigger platform. And I do not want to confuse anybody that is still growing in their faith to think that this is the way. Obviously, I am not perfect. The Holy Spirit is still working on me. But let my imperfections be between me and the Holy Spirit. If you see them, it's never intentional do you get we, we know how we look at people that come and profess their faith we know like our pastors we kind of put them on a pedestal and it's almost like their actions now become gospel which is not supposed to be the case but since we know that that is a reality it's good to avoid it to the it's good to avoid confusing people to the best of your abilities like i don't want someone to see me and see someone that is of the world and not be able to tell the difference just because of how I dress. Or I do not want someone to reject me giving them the word of God just because of how I dress. I do not want my dressing to hinder a message from being passed across. I, can't, I do not want me being unable to minister to somebody just because of how I dress. So these are some of the realities and we are judged based on how we dress. We know that for a fact. So why why take that risk just because you're like oh my, it's me and god my heart my heart we know it's not just that if salvation was just oh have a relationship i feel like we we'll all die the day we say oh jesus i i take you as my personal lord and savior but no god wants us to bring more people to his to his ship and he wants us to find the other lost ships just as we were found and you do not want the way you dress the way you speak the way you, you do certain things to hinder God from using you. Not God from using you, but to hinder the message that you have from being heard. Because in as much as the word is important, the vessel is also important. And also, there are benefits, honestly. There are benefits of looking modest or dressing modestly. One of it is what I've just said, not confusing people. Another one of it is also like people will be able to tell like okay this one is not like this one she's not like these ones um this there's, there's a the, the light that is inside of you is more it will be more visible because you look like quote unquote that light 
you look like because let's not let's not lie to ourselves there are certain dressing or certain ways of dressing that we attach to certain characteristics like you might be the best person in this world but if you look a certain way you have to prove it before i will believe that that's who you are that's why even even when we are going to the airports or when we know we're going we're traveling by road especially in nigeria you will dress a certain way because if you are dressed a certain way you you will be disturbed by authorities by the police they'll keep stopping you i remember the time we were traveling with my dad and he was wearing a face cap and we kept getting stopped at every checkpoint and i think he realized that is it this cap that is making people think that then he removed it and nobody stopped us after that so that just goes to tell you the, the society we live in the way you dress is the way we address is a real thing so do you want to be addressed as harlots? Sorry for the very vulgar term. Or do we want to be addressed as daughters of Zion? I want the latter and I hope you want the latter as well. Okay, I was going to talk about practical ways of dressing because we say, oh, dress model, dress model, dress models. But how, like I was saying, do you have to throw all your, your clothes away? No, you don't. Like I, the examples I give, this dress how I wore it before and how I wear it now things like that just tweak the little things i know sometimes honestly this is one thing i also struggle with because of how i am built it's hard to get away with a lot of things like my bust area is not small i also have like a bum and hips so when it comes to top and bottom i have to like be very careful because one can like the, the cleavage might not show but the butt might be in everybody's face and just things like that that's why when i'm talking about modesty i'm not calling specific clothing items and define them as this is okay a, this is a modest thing because a crop top can be modest can look modest can cover someone's nakedness properly and when another person wears it it will be like why is she showing us everything that she has so it really goes with your body type so learn your body type and we know that there are certain parts of our bodies that are very sex appealing so those parts of your body try to cover them a bit more. like let's say your ripped jeans you may not have to throw it away you can wear like leggings or something inside that will cover the skin that is showing let's say if you are wearing a dress that might be a bit very, that might be tight that shows the bomb and everything you can wear like a jacket on top of it to cover just you know th these are small 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 tweaks you can make that would the practical steps to take to changing the way you dress and in my opinion this skimpy dressing dressing or whatever is is very childish to me it's very childish it's not tasteful um it makes you look it makes you look very i don't know very ras so let's even even if we're not talking about god like if you're trying to elevate the way you look like being covered up just looks more elevated and i feel like clothing it, it looks like your clothes is complete because i feel like some clothes is like is it that you run out of material because why does it look like this <laughs> and honestly like i said i'm not judging anyone because i used to wear some of these things and i did not see anything wrong with it so i'm like i'm if i see someone that is a christian and is dress in a certain type of way i'm not looking at you like oh my god how can, can you how could you No, it's very possible that your heart is hardened to it it's very possible that you are yet to come to the, the realization that i later came to in my walk in christ or oh, it's very possible there's this verse that says um second corinthians chapter 3 verse 16 to 18 and it says but whenever a person turns in repentance and faith to the lord the veil is taken away now the lord is the spirit and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty that is emancipation from bondage through freedom and we all with unveiled face continually seeing as in a mirror the glory of the lord are progressively being transformed into his image from glory from one from glory which comes from the lord who is the spirit the this is the part i want to concentrate on is the part about the veil and there's also another part i'm talking about but i feel like a lot of these things because we are in this world and this is the standard of the world because let's not lie to ourselves we also know like appearing a certain way 
also does certain things especially let's say if you're in the social media world like if you're a girl with a big butt or whatever and you're wearing something that is really showing your butt and you pose in a way that that's another thing i want to talk about the way you pose but i need to gather my thoughts anyway let's say you give them a side view a back view that picture would do better than your selfie <laughs> guys i'm telling you out of experience it would do better than your selfie because the world likes what the world likes so and it makes you then start to think oh this is what it looks like to look good for me to look good for, for people to think i look good my butt has to be in their faces automatically we are kind of conditioned to think that it's okay do you get so that's why i think the bible is saying when when a person turns to the Lord, a veil is taken away because that's what it felt like to me. These things that I was wearing and I was comfortable wearing them, suddenly I wear them and I feel so uncomfortable. I wear them and I feel so naked. And that's how I knew that, yes, a veil has been taken away. Why am I saying this? I'm saying this to say it might still be that the veil is still, is still on your eyes or it might be that the, the veil is gradually pulling and that is why you clicked on this video or it can be that the veil is out but you are still dragging it because <laughs> you are still dragging it because you don't want to see <laughs> sorry you don't want to see I'm laughing because I can't relate <laughs> anyway it's talking about freedom it says um where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty meaning there is true freedom and i feel like especially with this whole movement of oh my body my choice um um feeling comfortable with my body all needs all those you know you know the, the talk i'm talking about because of all those type of teachings we we think that dressing a certain type of way is a way of expressing and i do agree that fashion is a way of expressing yourself that is why if you think of it from the context of like being a christian fashion can be a way of expressing that i am um, of a new life or i am i belong to these people because fashion is a way of expression so you see why it makes sense that god wants to be honored even in the way we dress okay back to what i was saying fashion is a way of expressing yourself so the world has made us believe oh dressing and opening your nakedness to the world is saying I own my body. It's saying I'm confident. It's saying I'm free. But it is the inverse. It's a bondage. Let's see what it is. Let's call it what it is. It is a bondage because if it was not a bondage, then it would have been so easy for me to just wake up one day and start wearing my long dresses and covering all that needs to be covered and not feeling a type of way about it. Like the same way I decided to be naked i can decide to cover but you see that when you want to start not doing it it becomes so difficult what is the bondage a stronghold if it was not a stronghold it should be easy to just you know to just switch like this you struggle to be able to dress in the way that pleases god that's how you know it's a bondage and dressing the way that pleases god that's where there's true freedom let's even oh can we also even talk about like when you go out and like yeah you just need to keep dragging the dress is that not a bondage <laughs> you need to keep dragging you can't bend too much like this because if you do like this something can fall from <laughs> something can fall from the side if you do like it there was this dress i wore very recently to a trip to tonji and i said after that there was be so i warned you because i you stubbornness to wear that dress that dress, it was like an open back, but you know the thing with open back, they usually don't have like a good enough hold for your boots. And like, if you, I think if you are smaller chested, you can get away with it. But for me, I couldn't. It's like any little thing the boob will slip from the side. Like I suffered that day, me and my friends to take pictures with that dress. <laughs> so it is uncomfortable. Let's see, we we'll start from there. So why do we try so hard to be uncomfortable? Don't you think it's a bondage? Think about it we've been lied to somehow we've been lied to we've been deceived and we need to we need to see the light we need to see the light why should i be nobody's forcing me to be uncomfortable i'm just uncomfortable on my own hey god have mercy and that can apply to a lot of things not just dress like not just clothes it can apply to shoes it can apply to makeup it can apply to a certain hair 
like you can apply to a lot of things and all of those things i feel like should be looked into and should be worked on because okay what is the purpose who are you trying to what's the word i'm looking for not please if i find the word when i'm editing i'll put it here but let's say who are trying to please who who for who and the thing is especially for me my case was it was not like there was a certain person and it's not like as i was doing these things i was thinking in my head um oh my god the men are gonna know or the 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 girl is like i don't it was not that it was just in general it's like i have a banging body and you all are gonna know that jesus blessed me <laughs> you know see looking at this in retrospect is very like wow 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 don't judge me guys <laughs> my eyes was covered with the veil i've seen the light so now even going back to posing like even that is also something that the Holy Spirit has been working on me and speaking to me about. It's like, there are certain poses that you are just calling for the wrong type of attention. Do you get? Like, why is the distance between your butt and the camera like this? You are showing us the dress, but we can't even see the full dress. We can only see your bum bum. You are showing us the top, but we can only see your cleavage. You are showing us the selfie. But we are not seeing your face, we're seeing the press. There are certain poses that they are not modest. You can wear a certain type of clothes, and the way you pose with that clothes can be saying something else. Like, why should you, a Christian woman, look the same as a a secular, I don't know, a secular artist? It's like, where's where, where okay. You are the light. How? How can we see? Where is the difference between you and the world? The Bible tells us, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, by the testing. You may discern that, you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Ask yourself, is the way I'm dressing good, acceptable and perfect? Am I being conform? Am I conforming to the world? Or is there a transformation and a renewal? Because I'm telling you, if to the day you give your life to Christ, if today you decide to start taking God seriously, and today you cannot tell the difference in your life, and the people around you cannot tell the difference, then check yourself. Also, another thing that influences the way we dress is the things we watch. Sometimes when the, the, the older, you know, the older Christians, the daddies that have been in this walk for longer times, so we're talking about, oh, things like the music you listen to, the movies you watch, watch we are like, we're thinking these ones, ah, is it only them that know this Jesus? They over, over, do, holy, holy. No, these things, they play a role. They play a role in how you think. They play a role in the with the words that you learn. You pick up certain things from these people, from these songs, from these movies. You have certain thoughts in your head. You watch a music video of someone that looks a certain way and you see the comments and everybody is calling her beautiful. Da, 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 da. Um, subconscious, especially when you are young, you start to register this as this is what beautiful should look like. This is what I should look like. This is how I should dress. This is what I should say. This is how I should present myself to be seen as beautiful, to be seen as worthy by the world. But we don't live by the standard of the world, my dear sisters. This was too intense. It was supposed to be, you know, light-hearted and just sharing my story. But I don't know what has taken over me. Check who is your favorite artist. You will find similarities between either things you do, the things you say. The way you dress and that favorite artist. Are your favorite artist? Is she a believer, a true believer? Just save yourself the stress of trying to decipher if this person is a true believer and follow the examples that we have in the Bible. And follow the only the only truth that we know, Jesus Christ. Not everybody that says Jesus, Jesus is truly walking with Jesus. And you don't want to be led astray, or you don't want to to fall because of another man or you don't want to hinder your growth or hinder what god can use you for because you are following an influencer or a celebrity or whatever the case might be so please as i'm saying that i'm also saying don't follow me <laughs> obviously i hope and i pray that my life can be a life that is ref that reflects christ and since you are supposed to follow christ and if my life reflects christ you can be able to see things in my life that that shows christ and be able to do accordingly 
However, nobody's life should ever be the standard. Do you get it? Yes, our life should reflect Christ and we should be able to learn from one another, especially those that have been able to grow in the faith and had exp have, have had experiences. However, the only true role model is Jesus Christ. So whenever in doubt, don't go and be seeking what your favorite influencer or what your favorite celebrity is doing or seeking counsel from them. Seek counsel from the Holy Spirit. From the Bible, I tell you, there's nothing, there's nothing you are looking for that is not in the Bible. There's no counsel that's it. I say Jesus left us with everything, everything. Sometimes we just need to hear from our pastors so that they can guide us on where these things are in the Bible. Or so that they can give us, so that we can hear their testimony because we know that testimony of other believers also edifies us. But it is never to be the blueprints. I want to end this video because I feel like we've been here for so long. By saying, as I've, as I've been saying and I'll reiterate and say, um, I am not condemning anybody. This is, not, this is a judgment-free zone. But also the Bible tells us that we should correct one another in love. And that is what I'm doing. And I'm just here to share my personal experience on the topic and to just let you know if anybody's lying to you that god does not care about how you dress it is a lie he does care he wants us he wants us to glorify him with everything so that includes the way you dress that includes the way you speak that includes the friends you have that includes the 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 study the school you are going to that includes every part of your life he wants to be the center and when he's the center everything comes from him everything You're so if you are listening to me and you feel attacked maybe just maybe it is the holy spirit speaking to you because sometimes we feel attacked when we hear certain words because the holy spirit has been talking to us about it and if you can relate with anything I've said today. I want to hear your opinions and your take in the comment section. And if you do not agree with anything I've said, please let me know in the comment section. And it would be nice if you can also correct me with Bible verses, because as I said, that's the standard. So if you have, if you if anything I said wasn't correct or was not in accordance with what the Bible says, let me know. Lead me to the verse or chapter, and I'm here to be corrected because I'm also learning. I'm also every day. The Lord is teaching me what and what I should be doing and what I shouldn't be doing. And the the more I learn and the more the Holy Spirit leads me, I would share with you guys. And I hope you guys also share what you have learned. And we can help each other in this journey because it is a journey and the daily walk. If you read the Bible a lot of times, it puts daily, daily, daily because it's not easy. Say pick up your cross daily. So let's keep picking up our crosses daily. Let's keep dying to ourselves because that is what giving your life to Christ is. It is dying to yourself, dying to your own desires. Um, let's keep, let's keep reading the word because it is only through that that our mind can be transformed because we would not know what we are supposed to do if we don't read it in the word. Don't wait for your pastor to, to come on Sunday and give you the word. Know the word for yourself. Know God for yourself. So that I remember when my, me and my friend were doing about we um, were praying together recently. I read the verse and it was saying so that you can be able to defend this hope that you have. And let's keep communing with the Holy Spirit, and you continue to correct us and continue to lead us. If you have, you know, you've gotten this whole dressing modest, modestly part figured out give us some tips on how we can do better in the comment section i'm saying we because i'm also still learning and i'm on this walk i'm telling you there are days that i want to also look you know show them what the lord gave me but <laughs> there is it. if you don't hold yourself <laughs> let me hear your testimonies in the comment section as well um let me know what you thought of this video uh, yeah let me know what the lord is doing in your life what he's currently convicting you on it may not be about dressing whatever it may be that the lord is convicting you on and like i said let's let's also not be, become overly religious 
because we are concentrating on just how we look let's not be like the the pharisees we do not want to do that that we are just we just want people to think we want to be hypocrites the bible condemns hypocrisy a lot we should not do that let how we look only be a reflection of the work that god has done in us or that he's doing in us so from inside out not outside in that's not how god works thank you for being with me i said i was going to get ready but and there was no get ready i just did my edges i realized that i cannot double task um i have a bible study to go to so i need to hurry up for that because i'm already late and i'll see you guys on the next one Take care and bye. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.